Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to my Psychotic Secret Server series. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Connection Manager and how to configure to use it. So basically, Connection Manager is an advanced remote connection management tool, which can help you to manage all your RTP access sessions. Those sessions can interact with your secret server, basically. Let's start it. First thing you want to download it. So log into Psychotic support account, and then you should be able to see all product Psychotic providing. And we are talking about the secret server. Then you can go to downloading page. Accept the terms, go to the next. On the downloading page, you have installer, and then you have secret server application files for manual installation. And then you can see the connection manager. Just click it, then you should be able to start to download it. This is the MSL file. While we are downloading, we can take a look at the topology. So we have a cloud secret server, which is in the cloud. We have local distributed engine installed, which we are going to install connection manager on it. We have domain controller and some test machines here. Simple topology. This is our local distributed engine server. Now we can start to installation. But before that, let's log into our secret server. That cloud secret server has been up and running for a while. You can sign in to take a look. This is our dashboard. Login through Psychotic One. Since we already logged in, then we can just directly go to our dashboard. We can check our distributed engine status. It's activated. It's connecting right now. We have admin account has been added before. We can do launcher using the RDP launcher to log into remote server. We can try to log into our domain controller. Now we got the list protocol handler fail to launch. Since we haven't installed that, you can download 6 4 bit and get this installed. So we can try launch again. There's a warning message for the certificate. You can click yes. Now we logged in. So the remote setting for our domain controller, you has to be allow remote connection. That has to be set it up. After this time, you can close the session.
Let's start to install our connection manager. After we verify that our distributed engine is working fine, to install, next, next, install. Finish. Double click. Next. You can create the password eight characters, one up, one lower, one number, and one symbol. It has to have using those symbols. You cannot use an exclamation mark or any other symbols not in the list. Create. Now you can create your local connections. Before that, we're going to do our C grid server connection. We have two options. One is using local username and password. We're going to use web login. We can use a local login. We have our local admin account has been created. Now we need to change our current password. Save it. Unix. So those most popular one ought to be choose. Um, I, I probably want to choose web password, SQL Server account, SSH key. That should be enough. Close. So now you can see this psychotic connection manager has been configured to connect into our secret server. It's connecting to our cloud 51 sec cloud secret server right now. You can add another connection if you have multiple secret servers. Since we already installed and configured the connection manager, let's give it a try. First thing we're going to create this new secret. TSS admin one. So we create that one, we add it into our psychotic secret server. So it's pending to have it. After you add it in, then you can open your connection manager. It is loading. Maximize it. Um, let's enter the password. That's for local storage file. So then you will see 51 sec cloud. This is our secret server. We are not connecting to it yet because um, we have to authenticate it ourselves. So we can connect to it even we already configured it. We gonna go through the authentication process. We're gonna use in local login. This is local admin account we created on secret server. It's not AD account. Now you should be able to see your folders and also your secret. We already created TSS admin one. This is AD account. AD secret. What we can do is click on it, then we can try to use in remote desktop, connect to your server. As we tested before, we're gonna connect in to our AD server. So this is how connection manager can be used to connect into your remote server 
integrate with your psychotic secret server. If you have multiple secrets, then you can open multiple sessions at the same time. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.